Today, I want to show you a little bit about making animations, also known as animated GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it. Animations are just so much fun. And you know, it used to take a very skilled computer operator in order to make them. And now with Google Photos, it's just so easy. I want to start from scratch with a very simple example. So I'm going to take a couple photos of Jim. First, I just take a photo. Now I ask you to lower your chin just a touch. Okay, so I have two photos of Jim with his chin in a different position. Now I also want to take a motion photo of him and in case you don't know what motion, how to do a motion photo, this is on a Samsung. On iPhone, it's called Live. On Samsung, it's called Motion. This icon right here, Motion Photo On, tap it again, Motion Photo Off. So I'm gonna tap Motion Photo On, all right? Now, I'm, I'm going to ask Jim to pretend like something just really surprised him and say, wow, and I'm just going to take a photo, but it'll be a motion photo. Wow! <laughs> okay, now we'll see how that, we'll see how that worked. So now I'm going to show you on my phone, in Google Photos, here are those three photos I just took. Here are the two, and I'm going to make an animation out of those two. All you do is select them. Select the one by touch and hold, then add the other one to the selection. I have now selected two, and I tap the plus, add to animation. <laughs> so now, if I say, do you love me? <laughs> oh, yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Now let's take a look at this one. It looks like just a photo, right? But it is a motion photo. And if I play it... Wow. <laughs> now wow. I can turn that motion photo into an animation. This is something only available on the Android. The other one is available on Android, iPhone, and web, but this one is just Android. All I do is swipe up and then find the option for export and GIF and export. And it takes that motion and puts it into an animation. Wow. So, you know, I could add that to an email or a blog post anywhere that I wanted something to show up that says, wow. So to, to review, <laughs> creating animations with Google Photos, there's two ways. Either using multiple photos, and I only used two in that one, but you can go up to 50. So for example, here, when we lived in an RV and traveled all over the country, we would always take a picture of the state sign. So I love having just this animation that just goes through, boom, 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 all these state signs. That is a point, however. You have no control over the speed or the order of the pictures. So you have to take them. If you want them to be in sequence, they have to be taken in sequence. They are by date and time order. And the second way of making an animation is with a motion photo or a live photo and you export to GIF. I want to do another example of this. I'm going to use the computer for the multiple photos one. Usually you're making an animation out of a series of photos that kind of tell a story. I'm going to use these fireworks. So I'll select the first one and I will select that one and that one and that one. That one's already an animation, so I just want that one. I have five photos selected. You click the plus and animation. I, it's, it still just stuns me at how easy that is. Now I want to use the other method here is a motion photo. So 
So see, it looks like it's just a photo, but when I click the little play button, it does have motion. In order to make that an animation, I have to use the Samsung phone. So here is that photo on my Samsung phone. It is a motion photo. All I do, swipe up, export, GIF, and export. I now have an animation. So what are these good for other than just being fun? Well, that's absolutely the main thing is that they are fun. But you can share them and realize when you add, put them in an email or you display them on a blog post, they are going to be automatically moving. Nobody has to click anything. They move and they repeat. So I'm going to make one more with multiple photos. This is for our friends at Tech for Senior. They have several different people who present on topics and I happen to have photos of them. Ron and us and Bill and Ray and Huey and Bob. So I've selected six. I click the plus and animation. And now I have an animation. Consider this. This could become a signature, part of the signature in an email. If I go to Gmail and compose an email, I can then add that image. I just click on the add a photo and in Google Photos, there it is, insert. And it comes in full size, but if you wanted it as part of the signature, you could make it smaller. And as I said, nobody has to click anything. It just cycles, it goes through its motion. That picture of the divers going over, let's say I wanted to put that into a blog post. I can go to, to my blog using Blogger or WordPress, and I can add an image. Since I'm using Blogger, it's connected to Google Photos. So from Blogger, I would insert image from Google Photos. There is the animated GIF and insert. And if I save it, or you can, you can see right here. So it, it just starts playing. So it doesn't have to be a video that somebody has to click on play and it'll just go over and over. And I think it's so much fun. You could use this for stop motion animations. So I, I have my little stuffed pelican who sits in a tree. I set my phone up on a little tripod so that it would be the exact same shot each time. And I moved him around and put his wings out. Is that fun? Now, the last kind of animation you might want to make is from a short video. So you want to turn a video into an animation. You can't do that in Google Photos, but ClipChamp makes it pretty easy. If you want to learn more about ClipChamp, it's free from Microsoft. It was our Fun with Photos number episode 21 where we taught about that. So I go to ClipChamp and you need to sign in with a Microsoft account and then create new video. Import media and I have this little short video of Jim getting back into a kayak after we've been kayak diving. And this is something everybody always asks us, how do you get back in the kayak? So let's make the video into an animated GIF that we can post all over the place and answer that question. I've imported the video, I add it to the timeline, and all you do is export to a GIF. Now it says it has to be less than 15 seconds. This one is 16 seconds. I'll just shorten it just a little bit. Export to a GIF 
And that's it. When this is done, you have an animation of Jim getting back on the kayak. And if you want to, because it's ClipChamp, it's a video editor, you can add some text. You can change the speed of it. You can also add those multiple pictures and control the speed and the length of an, of an animation. So there is the finished product. Play with animations. It's just so much fun.